and payday if you where two amazing young women are running for the crowd for your next Miss Utica. We talked to our very own WHUC reporter, Dejanae Antoine, and she tells us how she feel about running for Miss Utica. I feel really good. You know, it's a pretty day outside seeing students come out and support me and, you know, taking pictures and sharing my product, as you all can see. But it's just a real good opportunity, you know. I'm excited. And Zoe Griffin tells us what she see in the future if she wins Miss Utica. In the future, feel a positivity, a more engaging environment, and even more welcoming than it already is. And Mr. Dunny Elton, the interim dean of students, tells us how he feel about the two young women running for the crown. Well, I think uh, either of or both of the candidates would be, uh, you know, highly. Uh, respected in the office of Miss Utica. Uh, both have done spectacular so far uh, inside the classroom, outside the classroom. And uh, both candidates are, are young women that we are proud of here at the Utica campus. We are, uh, we are definitely ecstatic that both of them uh, stepped out and, and uh, did this uh, or during this campaign to run for Miss Utica. And uh, I think whichever route the uh, voting goes. We have a uh, we'll have a great Miss Utica. Uh, you know, they get ready to start with us for twenty four twenty five. And Bryson Robinson tells us how he feels about the event. Good about today's event. It brings out two wonderful young ladies. I believe they're both good candidates, and uh, I wish the luck for both of them. Who are you going to vote for? Have your reporting for WHUC News Seven.